Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Holiday Little Cup. I can't believe I'm doing it but the heck with it. Seeing that Go Battle League can be a little bit annoying I just decided to go in here and see if we can get these battles done as quick as possible here until we do have other leagues come back as I'm not really a fan of the Great League. Uh, so with that said let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. We're going to be highlighting the Alolan Marowak and we're going to be using several other Pokemon too throughout this video uh, but more so highlighting the that so we do have another move on it fire spin it's not going to be shadow i uh, don't have a shadow one that's going to be within the range of the combat for 500 but we do have venusaur and the ivs on a lot of these actually are going to be pretty decent too with that low attack higher defense and hp uh, but with that said if you do enjoy my content if you can give it a thumbs up that'd be much appreciated here now this is something that you can do even if you don't like go battle league just to get the rewards it's not like it costs you anything but with that said, let's see what we have going on here with this Marowak. Farming down the Skarmory here, and we do have the uh, Mill Tank back here. And we do need to look out for a Rock Slide. Body Slam is probably what they have on it as well, I would assume. Going for that Bone Club. And we're going to let this go. We're going to call it here. And Body Slam, let's get it. Swapping into the Ducklet as we have that energy ready to go. Going for an Aerial Ace and taking that win. I do have a Shadow Ducklet. I just don't really want to buy a secondary move, to be honest. I don't think you really need it. Although it really will come in handy. Uh, te technically, you kind of do want that secondary move. All right, so we're met with a Cottony. This is pretty good as we are going to be flying right. They're going to be retreating with energy and bringing in a Snover. We're going to bring in our Marowak and absolutely just melt him counter them in the front in the middle they back out and i don't blame them exactly that's it's really no fighting chance there right next game we're met with a wall rain all right so we're gonna go straight for the brave bird here and we're gonna actually let this go too it's not gonna be super effective we are part flying uh, as well as water so we're gonna be looking good here and i mean technically this is you know you don't really have to make that big of an investment but technically you can spend a lot of stardust so one move on this Vigorot. I don't need Bulldoze. Nope. Nope. All right, so we're going to let that go. Unfortunately, it is going to be one-shotting. Aha. All right, actually, we're taking a lot of damage there. They do have a Vigoroth in the back, and we're going to yeah, have a pretty decent matchup. Thank goodness we do have Fire Spin. If we had Hex, we'd be pretty screwed here. Um, we just need to look out for Bulldoze, right? So we will shield this one up as we are going to be able to farm them down here. So go for the Body Slam, and down they go. And then we're able to farm them down with that super effective fire spin up against that charge of bug venusaur let's go we're met with a nine tails show me charm please and it is charm still doing a lot of damage but we are going to be able to take some shields here so we'll just put on the pressure uh, we do have the marowak that we can throw in here so we're going to be looking good and unfortunately not able to get to the second frenzy plant they are going to be retreating with energy bringing in their ducklet i decided to go ahead and stay here i want to throw that shadow bone i'm going to let this go it is an aerial lace i want to hold on to that shield for the vigoroth here or for the marowak towards the end so we're going to go ahead and swap into it right about now now vigoroth is just nasty it always is it's very good pokemon uh and that's why i'm using it so the number one pokemon apparently according to pv poke is going to be litwick um i actually i think I think Shadow Litwick? I'm not sure. I think it's just regular Litwick. I do have one. Uh, I just didn't want to buy that secondary move. As I don't think I have Frustration TM to waste, so I would have to if I wanted to even go for a charge move. So we're going to be able to counter down that Toga tomorrow there. Very nice. Steal an Electric. Next game. So shit. All right, Venusaur met with a Skarmory. Quite literally something that Venusaur actually can't handle. So we're going to go ahead and swap into the Vigoroth, which is going to be able to kind of take on this Skarmory here. We wanted them to retreat so we can come back around with the Marowak up against it here. And what do they swap into? That's going to be a Pikachu Libre. Flying press would be super effective. Then again, any charge move at this point would pretty much KO us because we're that low. And, oh man, I'm thinking to myself, I need to outpace them here. I have to win this matchup, unfortunately, so I can get the alignment again. So we're going to have to use both shields here. Going for the body slam. What did they bring in? A cradley. Ooh, yeah, I don't know, folks. This is not looking too good for me here. They swap back into their Skarmory. And I would suspect they're going to go straight for the Brave Bird here. Yeah, there's no need to to hold back and then the venusaur trying to hold it down over here it's not shadow unfortunately i don't have a shadow in the great league here but regular venusaur is going to be perfectly fine 
Cradily getting to a charge move. This is Shadow, so it is going to do a ton. Ancient Power taking us out, unfortunately. It was a good game there, right? Bad Lee for us, really bad. Uh, oh, gosh, another Bad Lee lit, lit Leo. Come on. Give me a freaking break over here. All right, so this is probably not going to end well for me as well. I'm telling you, you know, a, a lot of these battles, you can come back from them. I mean, it's not like, oh, if you get a Bad Lee, it's over for you, but it makes it kind of difficult, even if you catch too, right? Alrighty, so what's going on here? Wiggly Tough with Charm. This is more than likely going to be, yeah, Icy Wind. Okay, sounds good. We're going to farm them down here. Gain a bunch of energy. And bringing in that Le Leo, we're going to go for the Sludge Bomb here. Although we could have... Oh, they let it go. Fantastic. We immediately swap and they have a Fletchender. Okay, so this thing does have fly now all right see they add these moves to these uh middle stages like this things that you would never use in the ultra league or i mean the great league uh because of their combat power but they did this in, on purpose for these little cups so they're going to be able to take me out with fly nice very nice and they're still holding on to a shield there too unfortunately we take that loss and i put ducklet and look what they gave me look at that you see that stun fisk okay <laughs> Hey, it's all good. All right, we're just going to have a little fun in the little cup. You already know what it is. We don't even need to say the big A word. All right. Uh, so they have a wiggly tough here. They are going to be shielding it up and charming me down. We are still holding on to a shield ourselves. Now, do we want to show them my full team? I don't think so. Not quite yet. And they're going to be bringing in that thing, thing and it is just going to one shot us. I mean, we're, we're water and flying and I'm actually going to back out. Nah, I'm good. Okay, maybe we can get a good lead here. We're going to go pit and put Venusaur back into the front and see what we get. Show me something good. And Geodude. Okay, yeah, that's great. All right, we'll take it. Fantastic. Super effective. They're going to be retreating into their cottony and we're going to bring in our Marowak. Let's get it. Countered in the front, countered in the middle. What you going to do? So we're going to actually undertap this so we can gain a little bit of energy as we're going to be able to take out this Geodude right before they finishes off with quick moves here, which is doing a ton to us. But since we did undertap, we're going to be able to get to that Bone Club and get a shield from them. Vigoroth is also going to be great. I think I want to start building up the energy for this here, and we're definitely going to be shielding this up. So now the Venusaur as well as the Vigoroth are going to have energy for whatever's in the back. And it's going to be an Oddish. Okay, we'll take it. So straight for the Body Slam. I mean, that's all we have. <laughs> then swapping into the Venusaur to quick move them down. Let's get it. Next game. What are we going to see? Venusaur, Cottony. This is great. This is great. We resist everything. They're retreating, bringing in their Dunspar. So we're going to obviously bring in our Vigoroth here to do super effective with that annoying, crazy monkey counter. And the Body Slam. It's all you really need. Having Bulldoze, yeah, it'll work out, but... <laughs> I'm not praying for that right now. I'm not I just, I spend so much Stardust on random crap that I use a couple of times and I never use it again. Although I'm probably going to be using this more often. So if I play any more little cups, all right, ton of energy here. Going to go for a body slam up against what was that? The cottony. Okay. Now we can bring in both Venusaur or the Marowak. I do decide to go ahead and just show my whole team here as we are going to be able to farm them down. So I figured that, you know, it'd be better for me to do it this way. Uh, this is C bomb. All right. Bring us into the red. And a Geodude's in the back, so Bone Club is going to pretty much one-shot them once we get this duo to Graveler. And this is going to be massively effective, so we're going to see a one-shot quite literally full health, and it's Shadow too, so down it goes. Next game, met with a Lantern. There we go, that's a good lead, like to see that there. And they're swapping into their Vigoroth. Now, the, the Vigoroth swapping, it could be a tricky one, so if you do it immediately, you will be able to win. So there you go. So we, we had to use a shield, of course, but now we got a ton of energy. So we're going to go ahead and just start throwing these body slams or whatever they bring in. And we get to another one up against this lantern here. Are we going to be able to take it out? Oh, Venusaur didn't even get to have fun with it, but that works. And we do have an Amora back here. Okay, well, Venusaur is going to be able to handle this too. Actually, check this out. You're going to love this here. So we let this go. Ancient power. They get the boost. You didn't see it. Maybe if you slowed it down there. But yeah, they get the boost there. We swap into the Venusaur. We're super effective. They're doing more. They're super effective, and we barely take the win because of that damn boost. Good game. Next one. All right. This is what I like to see here with the Venusaur in the front. It's giving me some good games, and I absolutely, yep, call it out. I screwed up right here. I should have went in there with Vigoroth and absolutely melted that Amora down with counter. Came out with a ton of energy and would have taken an easy win, but I had to go the stupid screwed up way. Okay. <laughs> 
I even miss swapped. It's whatever. I uh, have my recorder at the top, which I need to get out of the way. It's right over the typings, and sometimes I get them mixed up because I don't see it correctly. Yeah, I know. Excuses, right? So I'm going to need to put it in the middle next time. And they do have a ducklet, which is going to take a lot of damage from the Venusaur here. Uh, Frenzy Plant still going to do a ton as their part water. We immediately swap into the Vigoros so they can't get any farm or farm us down. And body slam up this ducklet here. Still have one shield left. We're going to call this. Hopefully it's a bubble beam. Aero Lace, that still works. That's perfectly fine. Venusaur still has a decent amount of health. So what we're going to do is actually let this go. Farm down the ducklet with Vine Whip. And or <laughs> not quite farm them down. But we're going to be able to get to the Frenzy Plant just in time. And take the win up against that Stun Fisk here with the Venusaur. Folks, I'm telling you. Yeah, I know. Even if you don't like Go Battle League, just hop in real quick just do a quick couple quick battles i'm telling you it's not even going to be difficult to take a couple of wins and free rewards while you're at it great lead up against the chinchio they're swapping into their <laughs> nine tails and we're just melting it away we'll let this go weather ball but they're bringing us down into the red which is just showing you the power of that damn nine tails shadow uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Bone. Yes, the Bone Club is super effective, but this is going to do a little bit more before they do take us out with one more quick move. There you go. Bringing in that Venusaur here. Everything they have is not very effective. We'll let this go. I think it's a Bubble Beam here. Lowering my attack, and we're farming them down. A lot of energy, and they do have a Skeledurge. So they did lower our attack. This is not very effective. Skeledurge, 500 combat power. That's funny. All right, bringing in the Vigoroth to counter them down with not very effective <laughs> counters, which should technically not even be hitting it. But we're going to make it happen here in Pokemon Go and take that win with the Vigoroth. And they still had two shields because they didn't even have time to use it. Next game met with a Geodude. This is mwah, beautiful, beautiful lead with that nice weak connection here. So we're actually just going to throw. Would have been nice to farm them down, but that would have costed me a shield. Plus they're doing a lot of damage. And they do have a Cottony back there. And unfortunately not able to get to the damn Frenzy plan. Bringing in the Marowak here, which is still going to counter them. And what did they just throw into the game here? I think that might be a, uh, a golet. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and swap into the ducklet as we do resist the quick move. And it's pretty much a wrap here. They do shield this up. We still have two shields left. I will absolutely be shielding this up. And ducklet's definitely going to be one of those good ones that you want. Okay, it's very easy to obtain. The only thing you have to do is get one that's under 500 combat power and then buy that secondary move. All right, next game, Vigoroth. Now, this is not as good as you think it is because they're actually going to be able to outpace me with the body slams, which is going to cost me shields, right? So I'm not going to be using both of them here. We'll go ahead and use one and get one out of them too. All right, and swap to catch. See if we can catch. See, this is a way you turn things around here. And body slam catch, very nice, not very effective. And we're almost farming them down. They lit I got nervous. I thought they're going to get to another uh, body slam, which I shouldn't even worried about. But they caught a mud bomb or a, uh, yeah, mud bomb uh, with the, or a bone club <laughs> with their ducklet. Very nice. There you go. Catching around here. They're like, yeah, you like to catch? I can do it too. Yep, you got me. All right, one to one shield here. Bring it in my ducklet. And hmm, this is probably going to be Brave Bird here. Yeah, so now we'll be able to farm them down. We are shieldless, though. All right, let's see how this turns out. What are they going to throw in? I think I'm just going to go for the Bray Bird. Ooh, I swap, and then they bring in their thing. I farm them down, get to the Frenzy Plant here. They're going to have to throw. We're going to do a ton. We need to do as much damage as we can with this Venusaur because the Duck Lips move are going to be all resisted, unfortunately, here. So, all right, let's go. We're going to go ahead and throw that Brave Bird and try to get to another one. We do lower the defense. And Aerial Ace is not enough. I, it's not enough. I needed to get to the damn Brave Bird. But that's it, folks. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all next time.
<laughs> hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! 